bought a 24 foot uh, mobile home it's huge <laughs> uh, enclosed box trailer it's seven six wide so it's got great room on the inside needs some love it's still dirty it's a mess on the inside dude I bought it from was into uh, into the storage wars things where you buy a, 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 a we're not foreclosed what's the word where the people don't pay their bill on like a storage unit and you bid on it to win all the crap on the inside well, that's what he did. So he's had a bunch of crap in there, a bunch of trash. We got the bulk of it out before we bought it from the dude at the dude's place. But anyways, um, it looks good. It's going to be cool. Looking forward to getting it outfitted properly and laying it out. But man, I'm I am excited about it. It needs like anything cheap, uh, women trucks equipment. It all you know has issues. A few little things, some dents, some dings, scratches, a couple bent places. Tires are good, heavy duty. Eight lug axle nuts or eight lug hubs. That's great. Um, 6,000 pound axles, so we can still get our candy comp or the ditch witch in there, which is, and a heavy duty gate, which is super cool. I'm pumped. So, uh, and it's a gigantic billboard. I'm really excited to see. We have a really brilliant designer. I know everybody says their designer is brilliant, but you don't have my designer. My designer is visionary, brilliant, brilliant dude. Are you going to share his name? No, no <laughs> way. But he's got artwork in the Smithsonian at the UN, all sorts of stuff. Dude's genius. I'm blessed to know him. That they're ready to spend money, provided they do show up and do what you say you're going to do. So. so, I pulled over to get fuel. We're going to check our hubs here, make sure nothing's getting hot or burning up. We're in great shape. That's awesome. That's good news. A little warm, but that's pretty, pretty standard here. Nothing obnoxious. Oh, that's great. Wonderful. Show you the inside here. It's a real mess, but the door. There we go. All sorts of crap in here, but lots of room. I love it. I'm freaking pumped. So that's cool. Needs a Brittany Almond special paint job there. Need to get a latch for that. I got some one somewhere in here. But we're gonna get her lettered out here as soon as I get my graphics back from my guy, but that's a pretty boss looking rig. Man, it's a mile long, holy mackerel. 24 foot trailer plus tongue. Um, but yeah, sharp looking setup. If you wanna see our machines and stuff like that, uh, we got a YouTube video out on that, on uh, our machinery setup. There's the boss running her mouth as normal probably. We just bought, oh geez, you're bad as a guy. You left the window open in the Bobcat. She even a Christmas woman. Probably didn't even lock a door. No, you did. I can't believe it. But anyway, just bought this kick or this tilt dumpster. This thing's gonna be great for putting paver cuts in when we're cutting pavers, or even just I don't know demo of anything. You name it. That's gonna be cool, and that thing will just dump out, and and it, you know, we can set it back up on top of the truck. It's gonna be cool. All right, trailer video. Here we go. We got our trailer into our local repair shop. They did a few things in here to get it uh, cleaned up a little bit. Cleaned up the tongue, put a uh, some kind of uh, like liner on it. Got my trailer lock ready. So things are looking good. They put some new reflective tape on it, nothing crazy. Fixed some fenders that were blown out and bowing out. Got this cable, this cord on here for the assist. We got to do all the clean out yet, and it's here with Mr. Bo. He made a run in town to get some plywood to build shelving i told him we want to outfit the uh this trailer as good as his truck so he's going to be buying everything he needs to make this trailer as well outfitted as his truck this truck has everything you could need to do hardscape work on it to any end up to building like uh rebuilding a small block 350 chevy so um so it's going to have everything on there and it's going to be awesome so we're getting that fixed up here this trailer's not perfect. It's got some issues. There's a hole there. It got blown out from the previous owner. It's got some of this E or Z track on it, whatever it is. And I didn't even realize how valuable these things were for latching things down. Got all these racks, which we're going to take out a good bit of them. But I'm leaving this up to Mr. Bo to just organize however he wants to and however he built this. It's a 24 foot trailer, so there's a lot of room in here. And uh, we're awful excited about it. So, that all being said, 
Um, it's in good shape. We're happy about it. We did find one crack in the frame. We'll send that to our buddy at uh, Midnight Steel. Uh, my buddy's doing graphic design work for it here to get it logoed and decaled out. And just all sorts of cool stuff coming here. So here we go. We're looking forward to getting this thing rolling and outfitted. Here we go. This is the beginning or the end. We are at the end of phase one of the trailer outfitting. Got our trailer locked open there. We also just got a little springy keeper on there if we don't want it to go all the way. All right, this is cool. So Mr. Bo has built a workstation in here. We've got, I don't know, he bought a bunch of stuff, but shop towels, uh, this stuff, kind of your basic shop type stuff. Don't know how nothing in these little bins here yet. Bought some of these Craftsman interlocking tools things. That's pretty cool. Masonry bits. This cobalt set for a hundred bucks. That's really a great value at the end of the day. Um, you really can't beat that ultimately. Um, levels, like I said, this is just our first. We'll probably change this thing out in about a month, but kind of get a concept of what's going on here. Basic stuff. I don't know what. I, Bo, Bo's been in charge of building this whole thing, so. Um, generator, IQ saw, got compactors in here. Um, your standard duty, I don't know how heavy duty those are, but they don't look super heavy duty. These E-Tracks, people talking about these E-Tracks a lot, they are awesome, it's no joke. Um, dollar compactors in here, this thing is gonna flop over and get some, that thing will smash over in a hurry, I can guarantee that. We'll need to come up with something faster than a ratchet strap, I'm pretty sure of that. This is something Bo, that's cool, Britt. He's, <laughs> that's funny, that's from another project never got used, so I like how he mounted that on there, that's cool. Um, just an air hose reel here, so that's a cool concept, needs lube, but that's real cool. Got a trash can, um, we'll need to weigh that down or figure, there's a lot of tweaks we're gonna need to, to get figured out here. We got rolls of geogrid, jack stands for parking under this thing. Once we get clearance that we can put machinery in here, because I don't know that we really can yet. Geofabric, our black iron pipe, three quarter inch black iron gas pipe, um, which measures one inch OD, which we love. You want those iron pipes like that for uh, screeding, for pavers, because anything else is too light of duty, it flops around all that. We bought the Milwaukee pack out set to get that started. Those things are really expensive, but they're really a fantastic design, super durable. We're gonna have to do something faster than ratchet straps. We'll cut the slack off of them if we do. Wheel chocks, so a lot of stuff. We're gonna do this thing yet, but this is the beginning, of the end of phase one of outfitting the trailer. So as soon as I get clearance from our trailer shop that we can put our Canicom and or our ditch witch in here, I'm gonna, we're gonna be doing that. Uh, the other aspect of this was, what was it? I don't remember, oh well, okay.